The British have left quite an impression on Fiji. 10,000 miles from home, the sports of rugby and cricket are loved and appreciated in these islands. So too is the monarchy as represented by the Queen. The park they are playing in is called Albert, after her great-great-grandfather. The grandstand behind them is where she sat during her visits here. This road hasn't changed much. Then came a royal drive through the town. Since the recently crowned Queen Elizabeth II travelled down it during her first trip here in 1953. It was a six-month tour around the world. Back then, she was the head of state of enough countries to ensure the sun never set on the empire. The token of obeisance is the offering of a whale's tooth. She would be a keen tourist throughout her reign with Fiji, one of her favorite destinations. Many Fijians simply adored the Queen and the feeling was mutual. She came here six times, which puts Fiji joint fourth on her list of most visited foreign countries, behind only Canada, Australia and New Zealand. A big part of her travels in life Fiji has also had a role in the Queen's final journey. One of her pallbearers is Fijian, third along on the right, Penny Tabuna of the Royal Regiment of Scotland. It's not easy to get to the young soldier's home village here in Fiji. There are no roads leading there, so the only way to reach it is to follow the Rewa River. 21-year-old Private Tabuna really has come a long way, not least in terms of distance travelled from this, his home, the village of Vutia. We went there to meet his father, who's probably the proudest person in Fiji today. Uh, I feel great. I feel happy. The first time for me to here that uh, he's the one that was chosen from the big country like that. Yeah? And uh, I cry, I cry. Uh, the whole nation, Fiji, I can see they're all proud. They call me, then they ask me, is that your son? Yes, that's my son. At one point, the interview was interrupted by a call from his soldier son back okay. in the UK. He told me that uh, he was tired, uh, he wants to sleep, he wants to rest, the big job that I've done. And uh, she, he told me that Major called him, his Major, called him to make a celebration for him. Uh, and uh, he attended, uh, just a small party, yeah. just uh, to thank him for the great job that he had done. The UK's relationship with Fiji has been complicated. In the years since it became a republic in 1987, things have hit the rocks sufficiently hard to see Fiji suspended from the Commonwealth three times. But this nation's regard for the Queen has never wavered. Sophia Kinamaui, just behind Her Majesty in this photo, met her three times and helped arrange one of the six visits here. We wouldn't have been where we are without the British monarchy. And we cannot thank the monarchy enough for what uh, they've done. The British Commonwealth, a British government, the UK, they mean very much to us. In the Fijian capital, Suva, you can book the hotel room with the balcony from which the Queen and Prince Philip waved to the crowds back in 53. Yet another ovation from the people of Suva. It was a moment recreated in exactly the same place by the Duke and Duchess of Sussex during their visit here four years ago. The Fijian flag is at half-mast and still a quarter British. This is only one of four countries that continue to include the Union Jack in their national emblem. 35 years after independence, this nation's motto remains. Fear God and honor the Queen. John Irvine, ITV News, Fiji.